What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today you guys are in for a treat. So I went ahead and pulled my Zotac GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This is one that we just got in more recently uh, from the Newegg Shuffle. This is the Twin Edge LHR card. And today we're going to be going ahead and slapping it in our little uh, tabletop test rig here. And we're gonna be talking about a brand new coin that hit the market this year. We're talking about Raven Coin Lite. And I had no clue about this until a fellow content creator actually brought it to my attention. And I was like, I am definitely interested in getting in on this super, super early. You can mine a bazillion coins in a day right now on this. And hey, if it pops next week, next month, next year, I'm gonna be sitting pretty pretty. So let's go ahead and get this 3060 Ti put into our test rig and let's talk about how to mine Ravencoin Lite. Okay, so first off, I want to give a huge shout out to Mad Electron. This man went ahead and introduced me to Ravencoin Lite. He is packed full of amazing knowledge and I'd like you guys to go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link directly down below in the description. So let's talk about Ravencoin Light. So if you guys do want to check out their website, it is ravencoinlight.org. Um, I have gotten all my information on this from Matt Electron's Engineering's YouTube video, as well as just reviewing the website. Believe it or not, you know, reviewing a website actually gives you information. So what in God's name is Ravencoin Light? So from what I've learned on their website, Ravencoin Light is a fork from the original Ravencoin Classic. Now, as a miner, our, our head instantly goes to, what is it worth? How much can I mine? Is it profitable? No, no, and no. And what I mean by that is, it's not worth anything. You can't mine it. I'm sorry, correction. You can mine it. I'm going to show you today. Uh, but is it profitable? No. And you may literally get to this point in the video and go, I'm not mining Ravencoin. Life's not worth anything. But guess what? Is that what the people thought that mined Bitcoin before it was worth anything? Pretty much. And uh, how about the people that decided to mine Bitcoin early on before it was worth anything and got a boatload of it? Now, I'm not going to put this out there and say Ravencoin Lite compares to Bitcoin. <laughs> not a chance. But if you can get yourself a decent wallet packed full of some Ravencoin Lite and eh, it pops, good for you. You'll be sitting pretty. So Ravencoin Lite is not worth anything right now. It is not on any exchanges, but it looks like a fantastic project to get behind. Based off of the research that I found on this, it is entirely community driven. So it has community developers working on it um, and it is completely open sourced, which is pretty sweet. There is a cap, which I'm happy to hear about, 21 billion total supply. And it is set up to give 2,500 Ravencoin light per block. Okay, pretty good. So that being said, I like their kind of roadmap that they list on their website here. You know, phase one, they finished up with their hard fork just last month. Currently this month, you know, working on their assets right now, uh, which is, I think, extremely important. And then finally, you know, next month is the big launch of this project. So if you can mine it now, you can get a decent amount of this stuff early on. And hey, if you want to be ahead of the curve and get yourself a little something, something, definitely worth it. So... There's a lot on their website, ravencoinlight.org. But what I want to point you guys to is the wallet. So when you go over here to wallet, there's really only one wallet right now. It's not listed on Exodus or Zellcore or any other sites. It actually is a Windows-based wallet. So you actually download and install this wallet on your own device. So if you're interested, come over to ravencoinlight.org wallet. Click on the wallet and install the wallet now. Okay, so installing the wallet is actually super fast. So while I wait for this DAG file to go ahead and build here for my wallet, uh, you can see on the website, so all I did was come from the wallet and click right here on Windows. That goes ahead and brings up GitHub, and there's a raven.qt.exe. Just run it. 
Your, your Windows system may flag it, just run it anyways. It's a simple installer. It asks where you want to install. And then after that, it comes to here. So I have an Unraid server. So I went ahead and installed this on my Unraid server. And now it's going ahead and going through and actually building this out. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that it's actually syncing the wallet. So we're up to about 14% now, we're at 19%. So we're humming along pretty good here. Once this finishes, I'll circle back around and we can talk about getting our Ravencoin address, which we're gonna need once we go ahead and step into HiveOS and show you guys how to mine Ravencoin Lite in HiveOS. You are not limited to HiveOS though. If you take a look on their website, you can see here, you can download like T-Rex Miner directly from their website. You can download Team Red Miner directly from their website with the Stratum address built already into it, which is great. And in addition to that, guess what? This is also available for CPU mining, which is fantastic. A coin that is GPU and CPU mineable is insane. Finally, you can actually start up your node, guys. Download the wallet just like we did here using Raven QT, which is what we did. Open the GUI, set some settings up, and bam, you're running your own Ravencoin Lite node, which is ridiculous. So it's definitely something really cool to check out. In regards to pools, let's talk about pools while we wait. Where are we at here? We're still downloading. Okay, no problem. So looking at pools. So if we go ahead and click on pools, this loads up our trusty mining pool stats uh, website. Everybody comes over here to take a look at these. If you guys are not familiar with this website, Mining Pool Stats, I'll put a link down below. This is super valuable to you as a new miner. So let's take a look at this. Right now, we're about 30 giga hash right now on Ravencoin Lite. Breaking things down, most of that is actually, over 60% of that is actually with pools.win. But do you blame them? Look at their pool fees, 0.1% pool fees. That's a no brainer right now. It has about 468 miners on it at the current moment. And the last one was found was three minutes ago for blocks. That is amazing. Now there's a number of other ones in here, but it looks like right now pools.win is running this type of promotion with the fees. So, which makes sense. New coin coming out. How do we get as many people as possible on it? You can even look down here at Palcoin. They're at 0.5. So if you're one of those individuals where you're like, I don't want to give my hash rate to the over 50%, totally understand. Look at like Zerg pools in here or Palcoin.com, some other really good ones in here. And solo mining is actually an option, um, which is really, really good to know. We're going to use this information. So if we come in here and go to pools.win, the information we see here for the stratum is what we need for right here for the address to put into hive os to add a new coin so that will be super important in regards to difficulty on the right hand side ravencoin light difficulty 234 that's pretty dang good which means you're going to be mining yourself a boatload of ravencoin light so it looks like that we're still sinking so i'm going to let this sink guys and i'll check back in a minute Okay, so while I wait for that to sync, I was like, hell, I might as well get HiveOS set up. So there's a few things we need to do. First off, here's our test rig, our Banshee rig. It's our HP old desktop hardware that we have. Here's our 3060 Ti or Zotac. We have no flight sheet and no overclock settings. So first we need to go into our flight sheet. Now, something new and different here is that this is a coin that is not in HiveOS yet, but you can still mine it don't get frustrated come over here on the right hand side over to wallets page and once you're over on the wallets page we need to add a wallet which you can see in the upper right hand corner so we're going to click add wallet now we need to add a coin because as you see in here rvl is not an available coin that is available for us to go ahead and mine though as of right now but we need to go ahead and change that Okay, so here's what we need to do to add the coin. So once you're in Hive OS, under Wallets, go to Add Wallet. Up here, where we go ahead and select your coin, start to type in RVL. You're going to see it doesn't find it. It doesn't even have a logo for it. So you need to go ahead and do Create RVL. Next, we need our wallet address, which we don't have yet. We're waiting for it. It's almost done. 
So under name, let's create a name for this wallet. So for me, Ravencoin uh, Lite, and I'm going to put this on here, uh, Windows Wallet is what we're using here. We don't need to set anything for source, but we do need our wallet address. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish um, with it going ahead and billing our wallet. And we're down to 10 days left, so we're making progress there. Probably be another 10 minutes or so. Once that's finished, we'll go over how to grab your wallet address. Okay, so look at that. I I'll be honest with you, it probably took 30 minutes or so. Uh, I guess it really based off of the drive speeds. Um, I put this on an Unraid server, so we're talking about a server with like 5,400 RPM drives. So definitely going to take some time versus like your solid state drive or something like that. But here we are, our Ravencoin wallet. There it is. You can see our Ravencoin market price. Nothing. Uh, but you could come in here now and you can go ahead and select what you'd like to do. So we could come in and select receive and you can re request payments. Uh, you can send payments from there. Uh, and then you have your overview, transactions, create assets, transfer assets, and manage assets. Okay, so to get your wallet address, all you have to do is actually go to the top left to file and then receiving addresses. And then we need to create one. You could have multiple wallet addresses in here if you wanted to. So like we create a separate project for like this. So for example, uh, we could go ahead and put a separate wallet in here. So we're gonna come in here and hit new and let's label this and let's do this. So we're gonna do um, 3060Ti uh, test Ravencoin light wallet. Okay, does that work? And we'll hit okay. And now it's gonna go ahead and generate us a wallet address that we're gonna go ahead and use over in Hive OS. Okay, so there it is right there. Uh, we can go ahead and view it. We can export it if we need to, it comes up as a CSV. Uh, and here is the address right here. So we're gonna right click and go to copy address. Okay, so now let's go back over here where we were in Hive OS and let's go ahead and paste that in there. So now that that is finished, we're going to go ahead and hit create. And look at that at the bottom. RVL is now in there and a available coin for us to mine. But we really need to go in and now build our flight sheet for our test rig. Okay, so let's go back to our worker, which was our Banshee rig here. It's a 3060 Ti. And we're going to create our flight sheet. So once we're into our flight sheet here, we need to create a new flight sheet. Nothing new, nothing nothing different than anything else uh, that we do have running. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new flight sheet and we're gonna select RVL here. So once we come in here, look at that, there's RVL, perfect, Ravencoin Lite. Select the wallet, this is the wallet that we just entered. And now we need to get into the pool. Well, there's no pools in Hive OS yet for Ravencoin Lite. So we need to do configure in minor. Then we need to go ahead and select our miner. So we're going to do T-Rex, or I'm sorry, not T-Rex. Oh yes, T-Rex miner. I don't know why I'm, I'm just blanked there. So T-Rex miner, which is perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to set up miner config, which is what we said we'd do with the pool. So now that we're in here, we need to talk a little bit about the algorithm that this works on. So the algorithm that this works on is X16R. So we actually need to come in here, scroll down, X16R, which is perfect. Now for wallet and worker template, you can actually just come up in here and you can go ahead and just do, uh, what do we got here? We got wallet and we can add worker name. That's plenty, good to go there, put a little space in between the two of those. And now let's talk about the pool. So the pool is very important. So. Remember earlier when we were talking about uh, pools.win over here and the stratum right here that we have highlighted? We're going to go ahead and capture that. And we're going to go back into our flight sheet and paste it in there. Now, the one thing we do need to use that pool is this little part here at the end, C equals WDC. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to put that in the password field. Now, under uh, extra config arguments, if we were, 
let's say we were just we were doing this on a rig that had like six other six total gpus we're just doing this on one gpu you could come in here and set your devices and you could say okay i'm going to do this on device three versus device four we don't need to do that the last thing that we need to do is we do need to go back to an older uh t-rex miner and that is 19.4 CUDA 111. And that's what works with the Ravencoin light algorithm. And we're going to hit apply. Okay, so now let's name this. So I always name my flight sheets Banshee, which is the name of my rig, my test rig. We're going to do um, RVL and then just uh, T Rex. Okay, and let's create our flight sheet. Bam! Let's go to our workers. Let's go to our Banshee rig. And now let's go ahead and apply a flight sheet. And there it is, RVL. Send that sucker to the moon. Okay, so without making any overclock settings right now, we are mining Ravencoin Lite. We're at 25.26 mega hash. So now it comes down to our overclock settings. And guess what? I have no clue what to do when it comes to our core and our memory. So we're going to kind of play around with this a little bit. Like, this is a, a new coin, guys. New algorithm. Like, not a clue. Um, you know, on, you know, core and memory and what we need to do. There's no presets. There's no forums out there with details. I mean, their Discord is out there. If you guys are interested, on their website, you can actually go to community. They have a Discord. They have a Twitter. They have all different ones here. So, they have all different locations you could go on their Discord, you can go and chat about this a little more, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time seeing how far we can take this, seeing what our, our hash rate can be, and I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, so it's been a while. I've been I've been really messing around with settings, trying to find like what works with not only the Zotac 3060 Ti, but also with Ravencoin Lite. You know, so I, I've I've cut down on my power consumption, which is always key as a miner. And we're still getting around that that 23, 24, 25 hash rate. It does bounce around a decent amount. Something to keep in mind when you start to look at mining Ravencoin Lite. But we definitely are making some progress here. I went ahead and jumped over to the pool. Uh, I don't have anything yet. I, I literally have been mining on this for under five minutes, 10 minutes or so. So I don't expect myself to really be hitting anything yet. Uh, but what I'd like to do is go ahead and, and recap, come back to this here uh, in the near future, maybe next week. We'll mine on this for about a week, and then we'll circle back around and see how we did and how much Ravencoin Lite we actually put together. Well, guys, that's it for today. How to mine Ravencoin Lite. Hopefully you guys learned something. My goal is just to hodl a decent amount of this, get some under my belt, put it aside, and... If, it, if we do something with it, great. If the project never takes off, never hits an exchange, okay, so I spent a little bit of time, potential profitability on my 3060 Ti on Ethereum or Ergo, whatever, and a little bit of electricity, but it's definitely worth a risk. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.